Hi, it's Joey, and today we're watching Alpha Season 1, Episode 10, The Usual Suspects. Thank you so much, Leslie, for sponsoring this show, and I am excited to jump back into this one. It's the penultimate episode, so I don't even know if this show is going to do like a big two-parter, or if it's going to be kind of a one-off episode again, ready for a big finale, but I am excited regardless. Let's go. You're not with the committee. No. Oh, God. Some mistakes never go away. What mistakes? He's enjoying that. What is the history here? I promise you won't miss that much. Yeah, because tomorrow's America. You know, Americans still make a lot of cars. <laughs> like that one. But that's oh, Lord. Up, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What the fuck? Is he okay? We got a case? Uh, you don't. We do. Jesus Christ, I don't have to enjoy that so much, weirdos. Back off, back off. Bill. You're going where they want you to go. He's down! Alphas. I won't go see any movie that I know is going to make me cry. Hmm. If one sneaks up on me, it's fine. Oh, no. Oh, he was much better off the cloud ring. <laughs> oh, God. Rachel. Oh, fucking hell. You're surrounded, I think. If you ambush people, they're gonna try and run. My god, why are they doing this? They're just rounding up all alphas? Because this is not right. This is not how you treat people that work for you. Or people with civil rights, for one, for that matter. Is this being Hampton? been afraid of something like this. The government knowing about alpha type people is never a good thing. That's your room. Oh, they know what their powers are and they're suppressing them as best they can. They've got him as well, so it's not just alphas. You've always told your team you'd protect them. Doesn't look like you actually can, which is I what I've been afraid of. What's going on? Be here till I find out which one of you is the traitor. None of them. You're the traitor. You just the tactical team. What does he think that? Why does he think that? Nathan, have you lost your mind? Yes. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? He ordered Francis to work for MK Ultra. The Cold War Alpha's program. They were all part of it. What about them? They were your predecessors. Tell me what's happening. Like each of them were killed late yesterday. Sounds like it was retribution for torturing alphas or something. Set them up to die. Nathan, if anyone's being set up, it's us. Exactly. Ways, these could have been fake. Exactly. The simplest explanation is usually the right one. For simple money, people. All the evidence <laughs> I'm just offensive. Supervisor, double agent, mole, financial opportunist. Well, when you treat alphas like this, I wonder if the anti being oppressed people are gonna oh, of course they're gonna want to be sympathetic to red flag now i'm reading a she's like come on who kills an 80 year old man it's a point wait if you want he's being honest <laughs> i mean so you admit to being susceptible to mind control anyone is you want me to that? scared of making eye contact with the evil mind bending out yeah, i thought you know are you, you worried that you're susceptible to mind control Well, what have you just done? You just abducted American citizens. When you interrogate people, it's very important to pay attention to what they say. <laughs> so what do you talk about? It's private. Oh, see, Gary and Anna, is that her name? They're the only people that I feel like could be working with them. She's dangerous. Look, we have to bring you in along with everyone else, otherwise they... Make him feel special. You shot me while they done with a co-worker and switched the profile of someone who might go over to the other side. No wonder they didn't before you were short driving them in that direction. Exactly. We all worry that one day men in black will swoop in and, well, we'll end up here. So, yeah. We're afraid of this. Time to change the plan. Oh, God. Here. You okay? Oh, we no. sat together. So, what's next, Tom? Huh? Hasn't found a suspect, so he's brought us all here together. You said you'd protect them. Because I talked to him. Wait, you still talk to Anna? Yeah, but I don't tell her anything. 
So at least someone could just log in using their credentials and you'd assume it was them. This is so wrong. There should be no prisons or systems like this. And every time Dr. Rosen has said, oh, join my team, I can protect you, it's been a lie. And I've said that from the beginning. Uh huh. So I am a special agent. Doesn't For fuck's sake, who gives a shit? Is, does this actually work? The calm guy is guilty. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding. Place got Eric Boutreau with him. One of your ex-patients, Doc. Mm -hmm. no. They all end up here. No, not exactly. Dude's crap. I've had it before. It's not that bad. Look me in the eye and say that. And have it every day with no choice, no ability to leave because of something you can't control or that you didn't choose. Let's get him out of here now. Yes, I, I think we, we all need to get out of here. Uh-huh. Oh, he's planning something. He's protecting them though. I like that. She saw the code. He's distracted the guards. Oof. Glasses off, glasses off. How do you like being put to sleep when you didn't ask for it? Oh lord. It was real, but I, I, I guess he was exaggerating a bit. Really? <laughs> oh lord. Still doesn't have too much longer with this, right? Good, good, good. I love my team. I don't want any of them to be working with Red Flag. But then at the end of the day, if Red Flag is a more like the the worst acts have been done by extremists, then Red Flag's arguments are probably ones I agree with. Holy shit. None of them because they're not all guilty and running away from evil people trying to take away their liberty. Stand down. They are just trying to save themselves. No. Success is one traitor. Not a wasteful man. <sighs> oh. Assets and only oh fuck's sake! I was actually going to give him the benefit of the doubt then that he was like, oh, shooting people isn't the right call. But no. Which one of them is it? Is it one of them? Is it Bill because he got screwed over by the government, or is that why he suddenly decided he wanted to be on the team? I don't know. I wouldn't shed too many tears. Did you read those files? Human experimentation, forced drug trials. Didn't exactly treat their patients with kid gloves. Mm -hmm. admitting that you had access to these files. Of course. No, I read the files. Pitching staff. Beard the beard. <sighs> I don't know what that means. See, is it Cameron because he didn't really want to join and he was kind of like, if you don't want to go to Binghamton, but then, oh. No, no, me and phone, then I'll call Anna and I'll just ask her. I'm going to ask the head of Red Flag. Who's oh. Yeah, then ask Anna. I know who the traitor is. He does? Is it him? Is it him? He doesn't know, but he's trying to get them to expose themselves. It must be someone else here. Clay's almost here. What? He's on the phone. How? There's a spy satellite tracking him. Gary, you just telling us this now? Yeah, I just found out right now, Bill. He's on his way. Oh, Lord. I'll know that they are redeemable, and I will do everything I can to protect them. Not, I have no other choice but to turn them over to Clay myself. Is this a mind game? And, uh, we will forgive uh, you. He already knows who it is. So why don't you canvas the actor? Hey, what is that supposed it to be? It means stop battling. Cameron, just dial it down a bit, okay? Oh Lord, who is it? Is it any of them? You're looking pretty jumpy today. Side is that you're a distrustful, depressed, miserable human being. I wonder why, given that he's locked in Binghamton. I'm sure other stuff happened too. You know, people don't realize, but for all we know, it's Clay or someone above oh, his head. Someone is setting us up to take the fall. Oh fuck who I I'm all over the place. I'm like, it's Gary, it's Rachel, it's Hicks, it's Nina, it's Bill. It's him. Hicks. 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 Hicks.
You don't understand. Oh, it has different times. In the what world. is it? Kid should never have let you on this team in the first place. Should have sent him to Binghamton a long time ago. <sighs> Holy shit! I knew it was you. I don't blame him. Maybe. Holy shit. I don't think he did. Because at this point he would confess. Oh god, I hate this. One of you could get seriously injured. I mean, I don't think he should have punched Dr. Rosen, but someone saying I should have taken away your liberties and sent you to a prison with no trial might make you angry. Fucking hell, who is it? Fucking hell. Get Jerry out of here. Down on his leg. Get your hands up. Back up. It's Gary. It's okay, it's not him. It's Gary and Rosen's no, protecting him. Because the only person he couldn't read was Gary. It's Rosen. He's the mole. Oh. Rosen just said it was Hicks. That man is an imposter. His blood type is wrong. Oh my god. So he's kidnapping Gary. Fuck. Whoa. Holy shit, I did not see that coming. Oh my god. How long has it been for? This is terrifying and I love it. It didn't make proper sense for any of them to be the mole, but this makes more sense. Has he woken up too soon? Is this the extremist part of Red Flag or main Red Flag? You know what? Can it do any harm in the short term? Holy shit, well done. Cloud but you said that the MK Ultra files were important. <gasps> That's why the pain! Oh my god, he can only hold it for so long. Gary! Gary! That's not Dr. Rosen! He wouldn't talk to you like that. The IP address, it keeps changing. That's why I'm the only one who can delete them all, because I'm the admin. Oh, Gary, no. Oh, God, how would you know which one to trust? Don't listen to him. That's the only possible explanation for how he looks like me. No, no, he... Oh. No, Gary. Gary, run, move. Yeah, you're not Dr. Rosen. Wipe out MK Ultra. Why? Is this not Red Flag? This is the survivors of the... What is it you don't want me to see? It's a real party. Gary. Oh, that's not Gary. It's not Gary. It's not Gary. Where's Gary? I'm here. And I'm the real me. He's the fake. He's a fake Rosen before. But the real Dr. Rosen is here now, and he's hurt his leg, and he has bad hair. <laughs> I love my team, but I don't like them working for the government, but I don't think Red Flag's the answer either. By the time we got there. I was uh, a little dismayed at the way you uh, treated my team. Uh. Ranking them like they were rabid dogs. If I hadn't acted quickly and decisively, you would have been dead or framed. Or both. And I'm supposed to thank you for that? You still didn't treat them like humans. About how Red Flag's gonna come at you. Doesn't excuse you treating them that way. They have rights. Well, they should. The greatest flame out in the history of finally I'm glad they're all friends again. I do five or seven shows a year at my That's how he gets his money. At least you two are talking again. Uh, we're one big happy family. Yeah. While we're there, you pick out a new car. Gary, what's wrong with my car? <laughs> count these cars. So you know what? That's not funny. You know what? I say one snarky thing, what? and you guys are all on my ass. But Gary can say whatever. The they are like a family, and oh lord, he didn't seem good. Is it because he lost the ability and then it came back again? Bill? 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 Or does he just put too much pressure on his heart all the time? Oh lord. That's a stressful place to end it. Um, this episode was insane. I have really had reservations about 
as you know, about the government and Dr. Rosen's claims he would protect them and that, you know, he was looking out for them because yes, I believe he wants that. And yes, I believe if he had the power, he would do that, but he doesn't. If the government decides, yeah, if we find an alpha, they're getting locked up, they're too dangerous. Every single person there would be drugged and kidnapped and would never be seen again. Their families wouldn't know what happened to them or they'd be told some story about a car accident and it's so horrific you have to have a closed casket or whatever, you know, like it would just be covered up and swept under the rug. Um, and that was just so terrifying. The idea of that, of suddenly just being drugged, waking up in a cell and realising that your very worst fear, the thing that like, Rachel has nightmares about. I need Dr. Rosen to take steps going forward in the future to either secure their safety or acknowledge that, yeah, I can't really protect you, but if we just keep doing our good work, they'll have no reason to hurt us. The more, I was racking my brains. I was like, it could feasibly be anybody because if it was one of the team, they would have had to do a, here's what you haven't noticed. You know, they would have had to do a, oh, they've been hiding from us as well as from each other. So I'm really glad that it wasn't that case. Because I think the, the ultimate message Red Flag is putting out there, I totally understand, agree with, believe in. But their methods, when you're wanting to murder people, even murdering those scientists isn't right. Now, if those scientists were treating people unethically, to be honest, that sounds like Binghamton is just a continuation of that. And yet Dr. Rosen willy-nilly sends alphas there. I mean, okay, willy-nilly is a bit extreme, but he needs to stop sending alphas there, to be honest. Or they need to be given some kind of alpha trial or like, you know, a thing that assesses whether they are actually a criminal. And if they are a criminal, then sure, they go to prison, but they don't get experimented on or anything. They just get imprisoned the same as anybody else. Um, it's all ethically terrible and then so I could understand if any of them had been swayed towards red flag especially if you know I don't know if it had turned out any of them had been affected by the experiments originally as well but it being an alpha who didn't personally Dr. Rosen was insane and I loved it I guess I kind of thought with the mind reading guy I just I don't know I just didn't it didn't it did not even cross my mind and I loved it um and yeah, they want something hidden in those files. Well, we still have those files. Gary had not started, or if he had, he barely deleted anything. So we can hopefully read those files ourselves to find who it is. And I'm glad the fraught tensions of the day, you know, Bill and Cameron's fight, Cameron punching fake Dr. Rosen, although admittedly Dr. Rosen, you know, someone saying, I believe in you, then turning around going, I knew we shouldn't have accepted you. You probably would punch them in the face. I mean, I'm not, maybe not punching, but Cameron does have anger issues. Um, but you'd be very, very cross with them. And I love that he signs, does, does like little conventions to get some money for his kid. Very sweet. Um, so yeah, this was a really, really good episode. It was insane. I built at the end. Now, is that to do with him losing the ability and then getting it back again? Is that to do with just the amount of strain he puts on his heart every single time he uses his ability? And obviously he used it a fair amount today, both in trying to escape the tranquilizers and then in trying to get out of the room and then like he used it a lot and we know that that can put a strain on him so that is very stressful if it reaches a point where he kind of shouldn't use his ability even though he has it he kind of can't stop himself i just it is very worrying and red flag is also worrying because our team is firmly on their radar and that is not a good thing so this was a fantastic episode thank you so so much leslie for sponsoring thank you for watching